Oh my God. Wow. It's a bubble. What? <gasps> that is glass. What? How? Huh? Kevin Scanlon, master glass blower, and he's been blowing glass for over 50 years. A real honor to have him here. I'm so excited. Did you guys know that uh, glass is made out of sand? Right. Have you guys ever played Minecraft? Yes. Did you know that's how you make glass in Minecraft? Oh, yeah. You collect I, sand. I did too. I played the education edition. Glass is made from sand. Right. I see, like, this guy over here, he's, he's got like a big bulb of glass on the end of a stick. So when you stick the rod into the molten glass, it just sticks on the end of it like caramel or something? It's like, like honey. I like honey. That's so. If you, cool. could, if you like dip the stick, uh, like a chopstick, into honey and, and turn it, you could get a little coating of honey on it. And that's just how, how glass is. And I can show you that. Sure. Here's, here's the marble table. I got a couple tools on it right there. So, what are those tools and how do you use those? It's like, like scissors or tin snips. And these are called the diamond shears. They're kind of unique because they have that diamond shape in the middle there. Ah, and Those you are cool like kind of snip off ends. Mm hmm. This is, you cut straight through the glass right there. And the tweezers are just like regular tweezers. And do those but, tools get really, really hot? Do you have, you have to wear well, near, gloves? Near the ends, they get hot, but not, not up by the handle. Oh, okay. So do you have to wear gloves when you use them? No, we don't wear gloves. Have you ever burned yourself with glass? Does it hurt? <laughs> the answer is yes, many times. <laughs> but after that, after we learn uh, at the beginning, learn what not to touch and all that. So we hardly ever get burned. Yet. Right. But every now and then something happens and you know, you, and you got burned, but they always heal and it's, they don't hardly ever leave a scar, so. My question is what, what made you want to do glass blowing? Like if it ran in your family or something? Ah, that's a really good question. <laughs> no, it wasn't in my family. I'm not sure exactly when it was, but it was in Detroit, Michigan. And I went to school for the industrial design program because I wanted to design products and stuff like that. But then when I got there, they wanted to teach us to draw cars because it was uh, run by the, uh, the car company. So they really wanted us to draw cars. Again, or you weren't interested in drawing cars. Not at all. So when I decided to take a look at the glass blowing shop and I got in, I finally got a chance to, to try it and I got hooked right away and I knew that it was for me. Hey, this is my workstation. It's called the glory hole. It usually is red hot, but we're going to see a hot one in a minute. Wow. So it's but, called uh, the glory hole. That's right. This is another glory hole that's not really hooked up yet. We're going to get that going uh, soon. Do you, you build these all yourself? Yeah, yeah, we built all this stuff. Incredible. Back here is what we call the cold shop. That's where we do the grinding and polishing. Gotcha, grinding and polishing of the glass after it's already hardened. Right, right, this one's spinning, we're gonna turn that off. The water comes out of here. Oh. Yeah, like all the grinding has to have water for cooling. It's like a record turntable. <laughs> That's right. We're going to come to the outside here. I'm not sure if it's going to be too bright. And then you can see it's the harbor out there. That's so beautiful. That's the Statue of Liberty? It really is, yep. That is the uh, New York Harbor. It's not like New York at all because it's so quiet and nice down here. Wow, is that an old train or bus? That is an old streetcar from Boston. No kidding. Okay. Yep, that's a pretty cool thing. All right, so then we're going to go, all, go around here. There's one of our new crucibles that we just got in. Wow. And one of my studio mates, Kevin, made this sculptural art here. Here's another workstation here. That's the bench right there. And then there's another glory hole that's, that's, that's running right now. That's hot. Wow. So how hot does it have to be? This is around 1800. Right here. 1800 degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius? Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit, yeah. 1800 Fahrenheit. That's a lot hotter than a chicken. That's right. So Kevin, explain to us with the color of the glass, you can kind of tell what temperature it is by the color, right? How does that work? 
if it's just barely glowing red, that's like around uh, a thousand. And then it, 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 the more like it, when it's white hot, it's like 2,500. That's so interesting. So the hottest it can get, it's going to be white? Well, well, once it gets to like around 23 or 2,400 Fahrenheit, and you, you look in there, it's like looking at the sun. It's so hot, it hurts. It hurts and your so, eyes. Yeah, yeah, it hurts your eyes, and you have to put your sunglasses on. And we have the furnace here. That's where the glass is inside of here. Now wow. I can I can open it up a little bit. It's so hot you can't really see it though. You can't see anything. Too hot. But that's where the glass is inside there. Incredible. So there's actual glass in there melting so or it's, molten? It's, yes, it's in the crucible inside there. See this one here. That's an old crucible ready. That's not that leaks, but we use it for a display. Okay. And it's it's huge. It's like about uh, almost three foot in diameter. And that's what holds the glass inside the furnace. And I just want to show you some of the goblets uh, practicing on uh, last year. It takes a lot of practice to make the goblets. So I have a bunch of old goblets that are, are nice, but they're like practice goblets. And that's what these are. Wow. That's kind of cool though. That's yeah. incredible. You make that one person or is it like, how long? Uh, it, takes, uh, it takes two people to make these. And plus so many years of uh, training together. But so it's really hard and it's a lot of fun. Here's the glass colors that we use. So what is that made of? Is that wax? Is that glass? No, no, this, this is all glass. And we only melt the, the clear glass in the furnace. That's just only clear. When we want to use color, we have to break off a piece of the color rod like this. And then you can use those colors. And then you so you melt this in like to the clear glass like it was you were mixing paint or something. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, sort of. They don't. It doesn't really mix like paint, but it's kind of the same. Here's some right in the oven from uh, last yesterday, and the, and the guy that made those he uses a glass to paint on the colors like that. Right. Well, this is called the annealing oven, and that's for cooling the glass. Right. Everything we make has to be annealed. That's, that's a very important process. When we finish the pieces, we put them in the annealing oven and it has to cool down very slowly so it doesn't crack. Well, like, why does it crack? Well, because the glass shrinks when it cools. If you made a really big, hot, round, solid globe of glass, right? Because the outside is a lot, it's cooling down fast because it's exposed to the outside, right? Now, so then it starts shrinking onto the hot glass that's actually trying to expand. And the only thing left to do is crack. That's that's very interesting. So things when they get hot, they actually expand, meaning they get physically bigger, right? So that hot glass, when it's red hot and it's liquidy, it's actually physically bigger than it will be when it's cool, right? And that's why things have to cool down slowly. Otherwise, the outside will become hard, shrunken glass. The inside is still hot, big glass and it's just gonna crack. So the annealing oven is like, starts off hotter and then cools down slowly. Yes, when we put it in the annealing oven, it, it evens out all the temperatures all around it and then it comes down very slowly and that's the way everything shrinks at the same rate, the inside and the outside. Sometimes when I'm on YouTube, I saw somebody do glass blowing and they were making like a pumpkin Halloween decoration. Have you ever oh. did something like that? Sure, I'm, I don't know how to make those pumpkins. Hold on, I'll show you. Show you. <laughs> oh, it's like a I'm glass not gonna make pumpkin a pumpkin, thing? but this is the optic pole that, that, you, that helps make that. Pumpkin. Whoa. So you stick the hot glass in that thing and then like pull it out and it comes out in a shape? Yeah, so it comes out in a shape like that, yeah. What are some of the interesting pieces you've made? I made an elephant's foot one time, a full-size elephant's foot <laughs> for an artist. A full-size elephant's foot? Uh, it was big. It was big. I made a, uh, an award for the Pope when he came to visit, presented it at JFK when he landed and all that. It was pretty cool. Wow. That's, that's, that that's was a fun cool. project, too. Yeah. Wow. What an honor. Yeah, it was really great. It was fabulous. I, like, lately, I've been making sculpture. I've been trying to make hands, like a, like a hand. These are more like clown hands, actually. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's like Mickey Mouse hands. 
Yeah, it's like a Mickey Mouse hand. Exactly. That's so amazing. Cool. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> it's so tiny. Yeah, they're so yeah, cool. little clear Itty bitty baby hands. Yeah, I like this one. This Whoa, so that's better. a clear hand. How do you make the molds for the hands? I don't, I have to use, uh, it's just all made by hand. Uh, <laughs> get it? A no, hand made them, by a with, hand. You know what I use? I use these scissors. Wow. Cut the, cut the uh, fingers. Oh. So you make like a shape and then cut fingers. Wow. Okay. Yep. If, hey, girls, if you could make anything with glass, what would you make? I would make the city. I would make a whole new world with aliens, people, powers, and everything. Unicorns. Definitely pink unicorns. <laughs> All right. That's, that's, that's quite an answer. How about, Ruby, what would you make if you could make anything with glass? I, I would make an army of people. A what? An army of people. An army of people. Very cool. You you guys could work together. Divya could make the city, and, okay. Kevin, and Kevin can make. I'll make the hands. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna show you guys a trick here. Sure. See, I have this um, metal rod that it's already hot, preheated, and you can see how hot that is, right? Right. That. So yeah. how hot is that rod? How many degrees that is looks that? Looks about uh, nine hundred. Okay. It's cooling down, so I want to go gather the glass right now. You can see that uh, I'm going to dip, it, dip the rod right here. Turn it. Now I have a little gob of glass on the end. Whoa! see it's it's sort of like a light bulb but except wow. but except so it's how like a hot bit is that is well that's that about it's cooling down all the time really quickly if i grab it like this and then i can oh, stretch wow. it stretch it long my mom said that oh my gosh is it still hot uh, now it's cooling off, and it's because it's so thin that it's not very hot anymore. I can, I can touch the really thin parts right there. Here you go. You can see that, right? Wow. It's like a wire, right? It's like a, like yeah. a piece of metal. It's fiberglass. Is that what fiberglass is? Yes. Basically. Who knew? Now I've got another job. I'm not really going to do much anything different here. I can, can like pinch, pinch it and wow. grab it like that. Wow. It's so it's so mushy. It's like it's like wow. clay. Wow. Uh, it just cool, right? sticks That's to amazing. itself like that. Put, That's cool, put it right? Back together. Yeah. <laughs> That's so so mesmerizing. Talk about yeah, like you cool? have those satisfying YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah. All right. Look at that. That's pretty cool, right? You guys ever play with slime? Is yeah. this like the most perfect slime ever? I don't really do slime, but. <laughs> looks like slime. It does kind of look like slime, doesn't it? This time I'm going to use a, a blowpipe instead of a rod. Ooh, blow a little bubble. Glass blowing. Oh, That's why they call them glass. Yeah. I get it. I get it a this lot. This is a little bit hot here. Yeah? Wow. Oh, that's glowing red. It's a beautiful color. Yeah. Sort of like red kryptonite from Supergirl. <laughs> I have to keep it turning, or else watch what happens when I stop turning. Stop. What's happening? It'll be. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rippy. Hey, you know, I'm going to blow a little bit. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Ah, that's wow. you. What? That was a nice one, right? Yeah. That was so cool. That's like the guy, that's like the bubble guy at Central Park, except it's glass. Yeah. Right. I have never seen anything like that. Yeah. Was that so cool? 
Can we say thank you, Mr. Kevin? Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Kevin. Welcome. Thank you, Mr. Welcome. Kevin. Thank you, Mr. Thank Kevin, you. so much. That was so awesome and so fun and so amazing. And we are so happy. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, girls, for being here. We'll be back on Saturday at noon. I'm going to have, as usual, a throw on the Zoom at 11 and start drawing something. And at 12, we're going to have another uh, fun show ready for you. So I'll see you Saturday. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. Okay. Bye.